Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is WooCommerce. Uh, we already installed it going through the installation steps at ProSociate. We we're able to quickly install WooCommerce, but there's a couple things you want to make sure that you do uh, when you're setting it up to make sure that you get the best user experience on your site. It's very simple, very straightforward, and easy to do. And you have a lot of ability here to customize the output that is seen on your site. Okay, what I did was I came into to WooCommerce here, and you see I scrolled down and clicked on the Settings tab, and that brings me right in here to the Settings tab. Now, we already know that my, my location is United States, so the first thing you need to do in the general options is to come in and to select your particular country. Now, you can pick your individual state and location, but it's important to you know make sure that you have your country and base location in here and then your selling locations you can sell to all countries or sell to specific countries only you can put that in there as well and it helps uh, target your store to where it needs to be targeted the api should always just be checked there keep it checked so if the integration with persociate stays good and then we get down into the currency options of the plugin. Now, once again, because I'm in the United States, I would have to go in and change it to US dollars because that would be the focus of my, my site. And once I do that, you see this doesn't change. I would have to click Save Changes. And you see here, because I click Save Changes, this now has changed to the dollar symbol there for me and I can have my thousand separator, my decimal separator, number of decimals, everything that corresponds with my particular country and how currency is displayed. And you can do the same thing with your site and make sure this corresponds with your target audience on your site. And it doesn't necessarily have to correspond with the, the Amazon.com associate IDs you use in Prosociate, but this will be how the prices are displayed on your site um, via that and the best thing to do is to use the country that you're focused on with Prosociate as well. Um, there's other different you know um, product enhancements enable light box uh, enable enhanced country select boxes and all these things are good to use if you have if you're focusing on an international audience. Now when it comes to products themselves you can see WooCommerce automatically sets up, as we did when we were first getting set up, it automatically creates different pages when you're getting set up. And you can see here that you can go in and adjust different pages and display how your products are displayed and whether categories and subcategories are displayed in your store on your site. You can mess with everything here and not hurt your site. So you can come back, save it, go back to your, your, your pages, make adjustments, and everything is going to you know, look as if you wanted it to, okay? So you can do that easily. Um, you can redirect people to the cart after every time they click on the uh, buy button, or you can let people just continually add to cart and have that cart automatically update on the product page itself. Uh, it's a good thing to uh, get people familiar with the cart. I like to take them right to the cart myself, but that's up to you and your individual site and what you'd like to do. Product data, you can change this. Once again, I'm in you know, kilograms. I might want to change this to pounds and uh, go to inches there because I'm in the United States and that's what we use. So you can change that. Um, if you're not using those types of products, it doesn't really matter that much. But it, you know, when you're talking about things that show weight and dimensions, but um, my recommendation is to set it. And you can see here, product ratings enable reviews, ratings on reviews, uh, ratings are required to leave a review. All these things are basic things that uh, really comes down to exactly how you want to uh, set up things on your site. Now, if you are using reviews, I recommend not checking only allow reviews from verified owners because all your purchases are going to go outside to Amazon and you're not going to get verified owners. So keep this uh, block unchecked here if you want to accept ratings and reviews from people on your site, which I highly recommend doing. 
um, product image sizes. Now, if you come in and you find that you're not getting the user experience on your on your site that you want, your pages are not showing products the way you want, then you can come in here and adjust your catalog images, your single product images, and the product thumbnails right here. Adjust the size to fit with your theme as best as they can. Now, if you have a WooCommerce compatible theme, more times than not, this is not an issue and it really doesn't matter. And of course, for downloadable products, we're not gonna be using them with Prosociate, so it's not really something you have to worry about here at all. But when you're done, of course, make sure you click on Save Changes, and that will be that. Now, if you wanna customize any of the pages that are created with WooCommerce, all you have to do is actually go into your pages and click on the All Pages, and you can see here, you have the cart, you have the checkout, you have the my account area, um, shop pages. Everything can be customized as long as each one of them has a WooCommerce short code in it. That short code is still there. As long as that short code is still there, you can add content anywhere on your page, whether it's you know above, you know, or below. It doesn't matter. You can add things anywhere as long as that short code remains there because what that's going to do is actually populate the shopping cart on your site and you know if I updated that you see here the cart is currently empty return to shop that's it populated by WooCommerce and you see here I added my content and that is it so that gives you a lot of flexibility in how you set your site up and once again if we go back into WooCommerce uh, settings you will be able to uh, adjust things you don't need to adjust tax your checkout obviously you're not checking people out on your page um, you can adjust the uh, pages and how they look as far as the URLs are concerned but most most often it, best thing to do is just to leave any any and all that stuff alone the shipping you don't need accounts you really don't need because you're directing everybody to WooCommerce um, you know enable registration on the checkout page enable registration on the my, my account page do you recommend that so you can get registered users and your emails is for adjusting the email sent by WooCommerce after somebody purchases. So you really don't have to worry about that either since once again, we're sending all of our customers over to Amazon to make their purchases. Well, that's WooCommerce in a nutshell and all the things you should do to get it set up and running so that you can start adding products via Persociate. Very simple.